Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee with Kramer and special guest Colleen. Hi. Cheers to everyone out there in TV and YouTube land and online, wherever you're joining us from in social media or the webs. I'm Don Kramer with the Kramer Group at Urban Nest Realty. And I'm Colleen Schaefer with the Kramer Group at Urban Nest Realty. And today we have a really fun event today, Colleen. We've got some of the top real estate agents across the United States here giving us a quick snapshot of their real estate market. I'm really excited about this because this is something to me that's important for everybody. Looking forward to it. And I can't wait to hear about everybody else's markets. Yeah, I'm curious to say, you know, what's their median home price? We're going to figure out about that. What do they get for that price about? And how long is how our houses staying on the market? Because we know this market's been bananas. Ours has been crazy. And this will be fun to see the difference in all the different areas of the country. And all the numbers, if they're close or if they're real far off, or just how they all compare. Absolutely. And if you're tuning into us, whether you're on one of those great social media channels, you like what you're seeing, hit the like button. Put a comment below if you have questions for the agents joining us today about their respective markets. If there's a market we haven't featured you're curious about, put that in the comment section below. And also hit whatever thing, uh, ring, bell, whatever, Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff. There's so much out there in social media land. Let us know you like the stuff. So anyway, we are going to start today. So let's call, talk about who we have on today. So from Las Vegas, Nevada, our humble little bird, we're going to start off with Sherwin and Fergus with the Realty One Group. Then we're going to move a little further east to Jonathan West at Century 21 in Little Rock, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to the home of the mouse in Orlando, Florida with uh, Kirsten with Coldwell Banker. And then we're going to go up north. I'm hoping he has some pizza ready. Ooh. Kevin with Ooh. Momentum Real Estate in Brooklyn. Real pizza. Real pizza, exactly. Not this faux pizza stuff. And then we're going to go to Bianca in Austin, Texas. You know, they kind of keep it fun and friendly and mm -hmm. crazy over there in Austin because we've heard that market's bananas. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to wrap. We're going to talk about the little area we call Summerlin here in Vegas and, uh, and go from there. So let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. We are welcoming Sherwin and Fergus with the Realty One Group here in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. I guess they decided, you know what, hey, ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to stand in front of the sign and talk about our fabulous city. Welcome. Well, hey, thank you for having us. You? Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Fantastic. Wonderful to have you both on. I know you all have been kicking it here in Vegas. So I've got to, we've got to ask you, what's going on in the Vegas real estate market? What's up with the market, huh? Yeah, well, the market is hot, just like the Vegas weather just itself, like just like us. <laughs> uh, this year, the median sold price is at 399K. Okay. If you compare it to last year, around this time, it was a 339K. Okay. That's an increase of 17.7%, almost 18% increase. Mm -hmm. That's scary, huh? It's a lot. It's a big jump. Yeah. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Okay. So let me tell you first or tell our audience first what they can get for 399, 399K in Vegas. So it's not too scary, okay? So in Vegas, for 399K, you can actually get a decent house. You can get sometimes a three bedroom, even with a den, even with a loft. Sometimes even in a good gated community with a four bedroom home, sometimes even with the pool and spa, we've mm -hmm. seen that recently. Yeah. So it's not that scary, people. Come to Vegas. We'll help you. Well, let's share with our audience how long these houses are staying in the market. Yes. Last year, it takes about 43 days to sell a house. This year, it only takes about 16 days. Sometimes even sold within one wow. day. Yeah. Or even wow. two weeks. Or even huh? within an hour. Yeah, yes. yeah. Exactly. In an hour, it's gone. It's yeah. sold. It's under contract, you know. And it's getting not just hotter here in Vegas, obviously, just like Fergus said, it's getting faster and fa faster when it comes to our real estate market. But what's important to understand with that is, again, let's not scare the buyers to go come to Vegas because <laughs> Vegas is a wonderful city. And all of us here, just all of us here, wonderful, awesome rockstar agents, I'm sure the buyers wants to always win. So we always want to make sure that our buyers are prepped 
before they even go out and shop for any homes. And how we do that is we wanna make sure that we meet with them, get a really sit down proper meeting and get their goals and their plans and their motivation, what they wanna do, how fast or how slow they wanna move to a new home. And then we make them, we make them, because <laughs> it's important and they understand that. We make them meet with one of our trusted lenders yes. to get their pre-approval. So they know their budget, they know exactly what their mortgage payments are, and they're comfortable and they'll have an overall positive experience overall. Absolutely, That's fantastic. Perfect. No surprises. Absolutely. And yeah, no surprises, no sleight of hand on the table. As, you know, some people worry about you know where, where all the cards are. So we appreciate you all joining in. And so Fergus and Sherwin, how do people reach you? Well, easy. They, easy. They could always call us at. They can call our main number. It's 702 234 5985. They can reach us in Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, LinkedIn, everywhere. They can even text us in that number. We can knock on their door in one minute and we're there to meet with us. <laughs> easy. That's how fast. <laughs> Make it easy. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, Sherwin and Fergus, we appreciate you. We, we love working with you. And uh, we, we uh, hope that people tuning in, if they've got some questions, they can reach out to. They're also known on social media as the Green Shoe Duo. So you got to reach out to them to learn more about that. So yes. thank you. Now, for thank having you. Me. Appreciate it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are moving east. We are moving to Little Rock, Arkansas, and we have Jonathan West with Century 21. In the house. That's right. Woo, dang pig, Don and Colleen, how you doing? <laughs> Guys, I got to say that because it's been it's been a hot minute since our football team's been any good. But guys, let's yeah, let's talk about that real estate market there. Um, I'm located in Benton, which is really about 15 minutes south of Little Rock. Can be there in 15 minutes. So I service Benton, Bryant, and Little Rock uh, extensively. Now, Benton, um, there's something yeah. Benton's I've heard that name before. What, no, what, what you've heard of Bentonville, Benton. which is in the northwest corner of the state. Ah. That's the home of Walmart. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're just a suburb of Little Rock. We're we're about 35, 40,000 people as far as population goes. If you Got include it. Bryant, you're probably bumping up to around 55 to 60,000 between the two cities. Well, and our city limits touch. So it's it's pretty much one big town. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, well, we've got to so, ask you, Jonathan, what's going on in your market? Man, it is blazing hot. Um, my last two listings we're both under contract within 12 hours um, for over list price. Uh, the latest one was 10,000 over list price with no contingencies, um, no closing costs, didn't ask for anything in there. It was just, here's our offer at 10,000. We wanna make this rock and we wanna make it happen. So things are flying off the market, you know, um, just getting into some numbers. Our median home price is $206,000. Um, that's going to get you a three bedroom, two bath home sitting on a quarter acre lot, you know, in a subdivision, um, probably less than five years old. If you want some acreage, if you want to move out into the county, of course, you can get that same home for a little bit less. Um, and then, of course, we've got neighborhoods that are more. If you want to live in the Hurricane Lakes neighborhood, which is a gated neighborhood with a huge lake. Um, a lakefront home is going to start around 500000 and go upwards to a million dollars. So, okay. you know, but the 206000 is that three bedroom, two bath, 1500 square foot home, you know, just your basic home. And they sit on the market for about 10 days, to be okay. honest with you. You know, so things are really flying off the market. I've got more buyers than I can shake a stick at. And we're looking for listings all the time, just like every other place in the country, man. Things are hot, really hot. Well, fantastic. So 206, but you've got options if somebody wants to look for some lakefront property, yep. some lux luxury property, and it sounds like it's going to be quite right. affordable. Yeah, absolutely. They sure can. I was in a lakefront house the other day. It was four bedroom, three and a half bath, 3,500 square feet, 
across the street from the lake. So it's facing the lake. And that house was 359.5. Wow. Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think so we're the, gonna go hop on a plane and start buying some property. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I've I've actually helped three out of state investors buy property here in Arkansas this year to use as rental properties because we're getting about a dollar a square foot rent. Okay. Fantastic. That's good to know. Well, we yeah. appreciate that. So absolutely. Thanks, Don. Jonathan, how yeah. do they re how do people reach you for questions about so, whether, whether it's buying, yeah. selling, or investing? Sure, they can text or call 501-860-3664, or I'm all over social media. It's the same handle, Realtor, the letter J, West. Anywhere, Instagram, um, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, it's all the same. Fantastic. Awesome. Well, Jonathan, we appreciate you being on, and uh, looks like you guys might be some, piquing some interest of people and some out standing values hope so bring them on bring them Perfect. on excellent all right ladies and gentlemen we are moving to fla or fl now the new post code we're moving to the home of the mouse the central part of the state where i know a lot of people move to they also you know we know them in, in vegas because they also compete for a lot of our convention mm -hmm. traffic tourism dollars so we've got Kirsten from Coldwell Bank in Orlando. Thanks for joining, Kirsten. Thanks, Kramer. Yes, um, we affectionately are known as the home of the mouse. Um, we've got the castle to help us with our taxes. So starting the beginning of this year and still going strong, we have about a thousand people moving here every month. Thousand and people every month, okay. Yep. In some cases, it's 100 people a day. It's crazy. Now, is that and just the Orlando area, 1,000 people a month? Yes. Wow. Yep. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, here's what we've got to ask you real quick. What's the median home price? What, what, uh, what are people buying and what do they get? So, the median price is right about 400, give or take 10 grand. The house you can get for that is a three bedroom two bath um depending on which neighborhood in central florida you choose that three two bedroom could cost you as much as 700 grand okay or you could get it for as little as 325 but the median's right about 400 last year at this time it was about 60 grand less so almost you, about 20 percent jump Absolutely. And the other fun thing is that you will be able to, similar to Vegas and Arkansas, because, you know, the market here is crazy hot. We'll have 17 offers on a home driving up the price. And so many times they will go well over asking. So we're, we're seeing prices at 100 to 102 percent of okay. what they would be asking. In some cases, the increase is 15% over that, depending on the market. New homes, we're building like crazy. The basic model, no premium lot, no upgrades, starts at 350 for a 32. Okay. And it takes, last year we were at about 50 days on the market. Now we're 20. On average, many places are less than 10. And in some cases, you know, we're seeing things go before they even are on the MLS for a day and a half. It's quite gotcha. crazy. Gotcha. So you gotta ask, you know, Orlando, big area, lots of little communities. Where where are the two or three communities that, that you're getting asked for? Winter Garden is a kind of an up and coming new area. It's been around for a while, but they have done some major revitalization and they've kind of created the new, um, what we call the Winter Park celebration kind of atmosphere. You've got a central downtown full of nice little mom and pop shops and restaurants. In fact, many chefs from Disney have migrated over there and opened their own restaurants. So there's a lot, a lot of foodie opportunities there. Um, Lake Nona is another area where a lot of growth has happened, very similar there. It's near the medical city, if you will. 
where the new um, hospital central areas going up and those homes, they can't build them fast enough over there. Those guys are going crazy. Okay. And tell you, I've, I've heard of Lake Nona for years, but it used to be a very popular, uh, well, still is very popular, very exclusive golf communities there. Absolutely. And that everything else around it was a pasture or an orange grove. Not anymore. Now it's all built up. Fantastic. Fantastic. So Kirsten, for people that are looking for Orlando, uh, whether it's a buy, sell, or invest, how do they reach it? They can give me a quick call or shoot me a text at 407-493-5615, or they can find me on Instagram under Your Home, Your Castle. Fantastic. Well, thanks, Kirsten. Appreciate you joining us today. My pleasure. So, Colleen, it's time to go get some pizza. Ready. So where are we off to, ladies and gentlemen? We're going to Brooklyn. We're going to Brooklyn. We're oh, going to NYC. No and peace. We've got joining us today, Kevin, with Momentum Real Estate in Brooklyn, New York. Kevin, welcome. Thank you for having me, Don. How are you? Doing great. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. So are you guys, uh, uh, what, what uh, is there a favorite pizza place? I mean, it's all about pizza. Yeah. And then, real estate's coming into the line. Yeah, we're, gonna, we're, we're not going to talk about real estate today. Kidding. Uh, famous uh, piece of restaurant is um, Giovanni in um, uh, Dumbo, located um, um, yeah, Dumbo, where under the, the Brooklyn Bridge facing uh, Manhattan. Hmm. How far is that from you? Um, driving about no traffic, uh, 20 minutes. With traffic right now, would be like 40 minutes. Okay. So we got we to wait. That's the thing to subway. Okay. So in the meantime, while we're waiting to go go take a trip for some pizza, we might as well look at houses yep. or apartments oh, yes. or something. The market may be, um, uh, the weather may be uh, getting colder now in New York City. However, the market's banana hot right here right now. Yes, a um, lot of buyers uh, are like some uh, bidding and then they got outbid and some of them hold cash hold for the skip inspection as well. And we got well over asking price. So I, I suggest the buyers here in um, Brooklyn buy to wait rather than wait to buy. Otherwise, you're going to pay more money in the future. Yeah, so, so rumors over the last year that people, you know, New York City was going to be uh, kind of quiet. Sounds like things are still pretty hot there and a lot of people are buying and moving in. Uh, the, yeah, um, the... Um, Mahan, but, um, right now, a lot of businesses um, and um, um, uh, residential, so they're moving toward Brooklyn, and that's where we, we are in Brooklyn. So the home price right now is uh, a banana hot, uh, all I can tell you. Uh, don't look at the weather. The weather may get cold, but not, not out of uh, real estate uh, market, especially uh, industry uh, city. It's so hot right now. So, uh, Kevin, we got to ask, what is the median home price there? So median home price average about one million dollar. You get a, uh, that's a one family. You get average like two bedrooms, one 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 bath, two basement basement, two levels above ground. Okay, so it's like a little three story. Um, two two story. Two story with a basement. Yes. Okay. We 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 consider that three stories here because we never see any basements. <laughs> <laughs> It's like if it's got stairs, it's got a story. Yeah, out here. That's that translation to me. <laughs> so two two in a basement, three bedrooms, one one and a half bath, about a million dollars. Now yes. we're talking about some real estate that's been a while for a, around for a long time. Um, what uh, is that? Uh, is that a renovated property or? Um, that's not even the nicely um, um, renovated. But if you talk about nicely renovated, well, it could be about well, like a one one point two million dollars. Okay, so about another two hundred thousand to have it up to date. Yes. Okay, great. So, and then how long uh, are how are places staying on the market there? Um, on average, it's forty five days. But um, if a nicely renovated house, it could be in contract in as soon as hitting the market. It will be uh, uh, the, like multiple um, offers uh, uh, been war. Yeah. So that's sounding like us where in our market, if the place is fixed up, mm -hmm. yes. we're seeing people pay and pay a premium and be aggressive in purchasing versus looking for something that would be a bit of a project. Yes. 
Yes, because of the, um, a lot of buyers that are uh, fair concern of um, renovation costs, the, the material cost has risen dramatically. So they uh, rather move in um, directly or they don't have to um, wait to apply for um, a permit to uh, renovate the house. And then the cost out of pocket as well. I would imagine yes. you could get your loan so you'd have less cash. That you want I mean, that's what it is for us. Is they'll grab the ones that are done because now you have low interest rate on the in the money you're putting into the house is less and you keep the money in your pocket. That's correct. Yeah. Ask the buyers like buy to wait and wait to buy. It's gonna cost you more when interest rates uh, 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 cleans up and the higher it goes up, you end up paying more. You know, Kevin, we're gonna, I love that slogan, buy to wait then wait to buy. Okay. That's great. That's so well we're uh, we're just about there uh to get our pizza order in i kind of like pepperoni and mushrooms myself colleen absolutely <laughs> so but you know what we may put that off to the side because we're going to uh, oh before we before we break with kevin kevin how do how do people reach you and your team there over at uh, momentum real estate so um, we are, um, you can um, buy us and sell the convictions on uh, multiple um, social uh, media uh, website like Facebook, Instagram, um, uh, WeChat, and um, you can uh, reach us um, to um, uh, Mitchell, our broker at 646-642-3353 or Mitchell's, Mitchell moves you at gmail.com. Fantastic. Well, Kevin, thanks for uh, being a part of today's show. We greatly appreciate it. We're going to be checking in with you to see what's still going on there in, 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 uh, in fabulous uh, Brooklyn and Manhattan and New York City. That, that place is, you know, we think we're a 24-7 town. Yeah, we're, we're, <laughs> we're one of these compared. We're one, but we thank you very much for joining in. Thank you for having me, Don. So, you know, I was thinking about pizza. But you might have to go to Texas because I like barbecue oh. just about as much. You like you like food. Yeah, yeah. I like food. I mean, can you tell? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I know. So um, so anyway, we're going to Austin. And they kind of kind of, you know, Austin's uh they like to subside say, you know, keep it weird, but it's a great place. I've been there in the past for uh, South by Southwest, mm -hmm. but I've also been there for some awesome barbecue. Some of the best it is in kind Austin. of stayed with you there, didn't it? Oh, it sure did. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we go to Austin, go look at some real estate, we're going to be having some barbecue with Bianca, with Colwell Banker in Austin, Texas. Bianca, welcome. Hey, guys. Um, like you said, the barbecue's hot. We have that Tex-Mex. It's sizzling out here in Texas um, as far as weather, but our market, too. Like we've said, since Austin's been named number eight tech city in the world, um, our prices have been in, uh, quite an increase. Our starting prices right now here in the Austin market, first time home buyer, you can probably look at opportunity as low as the 300s, but we do have to strike while the iron's hot because our actual median price here in Austin, we're looking at 550. 550,000 is what our median price is uh, for Austin in specific. Now with that price, we're probably looking at like a four bedroom, a three bath, this is a remodeled home, about 1,700 square foot um, in the heart of Austin. Now with that, if you wanna buy a piece of the pie here in Austin, you're, um, you're not gonna get a like quarter size acre or anything like that for that price point. Now, if you wanna consider on lot sizes, we probably would have to drive a little bit further out, about 20 to 30 minutes. There is some opportunities to where you're looking at that same price point at 550,000, but you can actually look at a four bedroom, five bedroom, anywhere from 26 to 2,900 square feet in the subsidies. Now, um, it's actually your preference on how serious you are. If you're working, if you're working uh, to purchase that home, I'd highly recommend you getting in contact with a preferred lender, not just any lender, because we're getting a, a huge demand in buyers right now. There's been a huge shift. A lot, everyone's wanting to buy into Texas since we are number eight tech city of the world. There is a lot of tech companies that are buying in and there's a lot of transfers being done. Um, so with that being said, our lenders are being overwhelmed on these applications. So it's um, my part and your part on to be serious when submitting that application before even looking at the market, because 
you guys will find out pretty quickly that, again, we have to strike while the iron's hot in this market. There's not very many opportunities as far as 300,000, but I mean, there is still um, there is still a chance. We just have to move quick. And whenever you do find that home, even if it's something that you're debating on, I would still go ahead and put that application in or submit that offer because overnight that, that house will be taken from under you. Sure. Our homes are <laughs> our homes are looking at being under contract at around seven days. Now, if we go a little further out, you're looking at like 10 days. But back in April, our market, we were looking at 24 hours, 48 hours under contract. So it is slowing down only because the pricing has gone up um, significantly here in Austin, Texas. Sure, sure. And, and we hear we hear a lot about tech moving in. You know, you hear about uh, Apple, you hear about Tesla, mm -hmm. all these companies. Samsung. Samsung. So where where in Austin's kind of a big, it's kind of becoming like a big metroplex. Is it is it towards the north side of town? Is it downtown? Where are they moving into? Um, anywhere you can get your hands on, actually, depending on the opportunity. So um, quickly, we saw the east side, which is the developing side of um, our main artery, uh, 130, uh, Highway 35. Yep. Um, everybody was trying to buy as long as they can get on that intersection, just because that's our main, you know, um, main course of like uh, transportation. Now, with that being said, since prices have increased and there's a lot of builders that are doing bidding wars um, on those lower price homes, you're looking at 300s. But sometimes you're ending up in like the mid threes just because of the pricing itself. It's getting so hard to become affordable um, if you are. So if you like I said, if you find an opportunity in the 300s, take it because I can guarantee you it's not probably not going to be there tomorrow. That same home. Um, good. What I'd like to say is um, if you do find opportunity, you just have to be open in as far as range of opportunity. So I know a lot of people are coming in um, with that out-of-state buyers are coming in with the demand saying like we want to buy directly in Austin and they're quickly discovering that that's probably not an opportunity unless you're selling from out-of-state you know your out-of-state home and you're coming in with some assets assets so got it. yeah got it. Excellent. it's crazy so Bianca how do people reach you because I know they're going to be wanting to come on in you're going to you want to give them that big Texas welcome and uh, and start looking at some property. How do they reach you, Bianca? Okay, you guys can reach me directly at my cell phone number. It's 512-985-7571. Or you can visit any one of my social media websites. It's uh, Beyond the Cell Texas, or just Google Bianca Vasquez. You'll, you'll find me easily. <laughs> fantastic, fantastic. Well, Bianca, we appreciate you being a part of today's show. And thank you for representing the Lone Star State and specifically yes. Austin. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. So, well, thanks everybody. We also got a little update here too. I mean, while we're going to return home now to Vegas, we're going to specifically sort of return to the west, as I like to call it, the west side, mm -hmm. that humble little area we call Summerlin. That's silly, humble little area. That's a humble little area that's been hot, around a little area. while. And what is kind of uh, interesting is because we, you know, with Fergus and Sherwin giving us a broad picture of Vegas, the Valley, which, which, you know, it's still one of the most convenient areas for 2 million plus people to get around in. Very much so. Uh, Summerlin, now we're a little over 100,000 residents uh, with plans over the next uh, several years to grow to 200,000. We thought we'd take a look and say, well, what does that get you in comparison and contrast? Because, you know, we get a lot of, we get a lot of PR about Summerlin. We do. So. And, it, and it is, it's a highly desirable area. It, it just holds its own. So it deserves its own little spotlight. So, so <laughs> don't tell some of my friends about that. <laughs> they live in downtown. <laughs> they don't. Yeah, exactly. don't. We'll go over some other ones. On the other we'll other some future episodes. We'll talk Nobody about some other areas. Left no, no one left behind. No, no one left behind. So Summerlin, I looked at the median home price. And we are now coming in at 525,000. Mm -hmm. So when you look at uh, Ferguson Sherwin at, at just shy of four yeah. at 399, I mean, that's, a, that's another 125K jump. I mean, that's a, you know, pretty, pretty good. Uh, in the master pretty plan good tax. Yeah. yeah. 
And so we also, you took a look to see what was available. We did, we did. And it was interesting because it does run and range a little bit um, all over the board, just depending on what area of Summerlin, believe it or not, with Summerlin being small, you would think there aren't areas, but there are, there are areas inside of Summerlin. Um, and the areas will kind of shift on what you can get in the home for that price. But we found, what did we see, about 1,800 square feet? Yeah, roughly, you know, just shy to just above, so 18, 1,900 square feet. What, yeah, 19 is kind of the top yeah. on that. Um, and they were nice. There, there was a brand new three-story, back to the three-story, not a basement, <laughs> they're all above, ground three-story, all the way to just a traditional two-story home that was nicely done. So you basically have some choices of area and you have some choices of style. Yeah, this one here is was built uh, like, you know, four. So it's it's uh, less than 20 years old. You know, nice finish. Nice finishes may, may, may need some updating here and there, but but it's a... It isn't totally redone. No. It's very much warm and move-in ready um, if if that's, you're ready to go in and you don't have to do anything before you move in. And also too, we noticed uh, Summerlin Homes right now, average days on market, 10 days. 10. You, 10. Even though we think that the market's slowing down a little bit. Yeah, well, the issue is before it was four days and gone. So we've slowed down. We can take a breather. <laughs> There's, it's still a hot market, but that is Summerlin, and Summerlin is its own exclusive, and I don't mean exclusive as in ex excluding anyone, it's just its own little area, and there are, um, there's a difference, it's, it always has been. Yeah, and so, you know, in Las Vegas, I mean, we were, you know, we, we got, we, we've got a little, we're kind of a, a melting pot here, because we got a little bit of, you know, we've got an independent streak here, so there's a lot of areas in town where you can live, you know, buy a little bit of acreage and, and uh, step away. From it, but uh, Summerlin, it's uh, you know, it's uh, it's you know, we've got HOAs to deal with. Uh, it's a little a little different, but also mm -hmm. too, there's some great amenities. You have walking trails and parks. And yeah. I mean, all sorts of extra things. So that's part of it. Fantastic. Oh, and a little. Somebody was trying to call on our phone and then it just went the other way, went to another screen. I hate when that happens. All this technology connecting. Really? So if anyone's looking for um, real estate here in, in Summerlin area, you know, you can reach us as well. You know, Sherman and Fergus as well too. We, uh, we're, we're, we love uh, connecting with them. We've done some deals together and look forward to working them in the future. But you can catch us up on VegasHomesNB.com is our website. And Kramer Group RE will get our Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube channels up. So we thank everyone for joining in today. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. If you can unmute and kind of give a little, little shout out to everyone. Thank you, guys. Thank Great you. job, everybody. Thanks hey. for having me, Don and Colin. Yes, thank thank you, you, Don. I think Kevin went to go get that pizza. <laughs> <laughs> it's that New York Minute. Sure. I know how that is. I think that new buyer's calling you, Don. <laughs> we thank you for being on uh, today's show. Uh, again, if anyone has questions about real estate in these great markets, definitely reach out to Sherwin and Fergus in Vegas, Jonathan West in Little Rock, Kirsten in Orlando, Kevin and, uh, and his team over at Momentum Real Estate in Brooklyn, and Bianca Vasquez over there at Austin Coldwell Banker as well. We'd, we'd love for you to catch up with them, get to, get to know them a little better, get to know their markets. And so we appreciate you being on today's episode of Coffee with Kramer and Colleen and look forward to the next time. This was great. Thank you. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.